20 and a half. Whoa. This is impressive. Three. Now this is three. Okay, 23 and a half. Building a bridge takes a team. As students at the Winchester Star Base program learned on Friday when members of the Army Corps of Engineers came to help them put their popsicle bridge building skills to the test. Students built the bridges in observance of Engineering Week, during which institutions across the country celebrate the accomplishments of American engineers. Colonel Stephen Bales, commander of the Army Corps of Engineers Middle East District in Frederick County, said the nation will need about one million more engineers to meet its infrastructure goals in the coming decades. It demonstrates the importance of the basic skills we're trying to teach, which is problem solving, proper use of materials, teamwork, uh, because as I talked to the students earlier today uh, in my initial uh, discussions with them, there's not one single engineer that can do it all. It takes, it takes a team of engineers, mechanical, civil, structural, electrical, to build anything that we have in the United States today or around the world. Uh, whether it's talking about an airplane, whether it's talking about a bridge and a road network, uh, piping systems, buildings, whatever it is, it takes teams, and that's what this is all about, it's about teamwork and, and applying those engineering skills to pro solve a problem and, and build something that's durable. At the Middle East District on Friday, professional engineers and Army Corps employees took part in a similar popsicle building contest, but with more sophisticated designs and heavier weights. Wait coming on! It yielded! <laughs> Army Corps of Engineers employees completed their bridges at home, sometimes with family. I think it's limitless, and I don't want to put my son in a box of a certain way of thinking. Like, I want him to explore new ways of building a bridge. This isn't anything that we saw online, you know what I'm saying? So it was just more understanding, and he knew this already, that triangles were the strongest. And so that was our base of it. And as far as engineering, like, I just want him to be able to go out and enjoy life and build new things and, you know, enjoy learning. And I think this is a great opportunity to, you know, play and learn at the same time. So The winning bridge held an impressive 531 pounds and did not break. Before that happened, Bales ended the contest for safety concerns. It all makes a big difference no matter what age you are, you know. We're still, we're still building stuff with popsicle sticks and so are they, so why not? It's the same. <laughs>